Hey everyone, how are you doing? My name is Shu. Today I want to show you how I set my goals in Rome using tables. So this template is based on an article by Nat Eliasson, How to Plan and Finish While You Start. It's a great article, so I recommend you read it. It's also kind of based on the book The 12 Week Year by Brian Moran. It's a fantastic book, so you should try it if you haven't. My template has two sections. One is a table for all of my goals and actions I'm going to take to achieve the goals. So I have three goals I want to achieve by the end of March. 300 subscribers on YouTube, 10 subscribers to my newsletter, and launching a new website. And in each column, I have a few actions I need to take to achieve the goals. Action 1 is the action I think has the most impact. Action 2 is the action with medium impact. And Action 3 is the one with the lowest impact. So for example, to achieve 300 subscribers, my action 1 is to tweet 3 times a day to promote the videos. And action 2 is to write on my blog. And action 3 is to hire a SEO expert, which I don't think I will, to be honest. The second section is tables for each goal. These tables are for tracking my progress. So I have rows for target, start, end, and growth rate. I think they are pretty self-explanatory, but target is intermediate goals. Without intermediate goals, it's very easy to be lazy and miss your final goal. So I think it's very important to take a second to set them. And start is just number you have at the beginning of each month. For example, I had only two subscribers at the beginning of January, and end is the number you have at the end of each month. So I had 20 subscribers at the end of January. Finally, the growth rate is how much you gained. So in this case, that is 22 minus 2, which is 20. And when I successfully hit the target, I tick the box. So let me show you how to make this template. It's very simple. Step one is to create a table using slash and type table and write down your goals. But make sure you don't have more than three goals because it'll be much harder to track if you have so many goals. Also, make sure your goals are smart. That is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. This is very, very important. Once you wrote your goals, create a column for each action, and then you can start thinking about what actions to take. Also, don't forget to write down the deadline. Personally, I always use 12 weeks rule, so that's about three months. Step 2 is to create a table for each goal. Make a rows for target, start, end, and growth. After that, create a column for each month. And take a moment to set your intermediate goals. Then, all you have to do now is to just record your progress at the end of each month. Finally, what I usually do is put my 12-week goals at the top of my master task list so it can remind me every morning. So that's how I plan my goals in Rome Research. If you have any question, please let me know in the comment or you can send me a message on Twitter or Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.